What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Hard Gunner Fitness. I'm Jalan. I'm super excited today because I just got on the scale, and the scale put me at one. Well, that's not seven, but 172. Uh, I've never weighed this much in my life. Never weighed more than about 165, 167. I'm excited, man. I started at 159, just hit 172. I'm probably more like 171. Usually when I first wake up in the morning, I don't eat anything or drink anything. I just get on the scale. But I did have some water this morning, so that could have gave me an extra pound or so. But I'll still take it. Last week, I was 168. I readjusted my macros last week, as you guys saw in the last video. Put on two to three pounds. Uh, so it definitely worked, it definitely helped. Passed my PR by a long shot. Still got a long ways to go to actually hit my goal. I really haven't been taking any supplements while I've been doing this so far because I want it all to be legit weight. You know, I don't want it to be water weight or, or anything like that. I usually take creatine quite a bit, but creatine does uh, cause you to retain a lot of water. But today is gonna be leg day for the workout. Super excited, boy. <sighs> I just want to focus on a couple of tips that I can give you guys that I've learned while gaining 10 pounds in under two months. This is the seventh week. It's definitely doable to do it the right way, one or two pounds per week without dirty bulking. I mean, if you want to dirty bulk, you know, to each his own, nothing wrong with it. But if you want to do it the clean way, if you want to lean bulk, it is possible. Make sure you watch all of my last vlogs, learn something from each of those. Continue to watch all of this one first. I'm going to give you guys some good tips that you don't want to miss out. Oh yeah, meal one. I'm eating chicken and rice first. I'm trying to get a couple of meals in before I go work out. Because as I said earlier, today is leg day, and uh, as you know, leg day ain't no joke. So I gotta make sure I have the carbs in and everything. I will see you guys at meal number two. I just got done from the workout. Meal number three is a smoothie. If you know I've been drinking this every day, I'm gonna be putting out a video showing you exactly what's in this smoothie pretty soon. So earlier I said one thing that you really need to do in order to put on weight, if you're a skinny guy, is make sure you keep it as simple as possible. That way you can stay consistent. So the second tip that I wanna give is water fiber. Make sure you're drinking enough water and make sure you're eating enough fiber, at least 30 to 40 grams of fiber per day and at least one gallon of water per day. The last thing you wanna do is be constipated or can't use the restroom while you're trying to gain more weight. As you know, you have to eat a lot of food. You're already gonna be full all, all the time. Now, if you have to use the bathroom on top of that, it's not gonna be a good deal. All right, so make sure you use this tip as well as tip number one. I'll see you guys at meal number four. All right, y'all, so meal number four, Wendy's. I got the four for four with the junior bacon cheeseburger, and then my last meal is gonna be, of course, the two egg sandwiches. The next tip is accept failure, and what I mean by that is there's gonna be some days where you fail. That could mean that you don't get enough calories in, or maybe you miss a workout. There's gonna be several days where you fail. Every day that I've had a failed day, uh, I come right back the next day and just get right back on my diet. Accept the days that you have a failure. Don't let it turn into a week and then two weeks and then a month and then so on and so forth. 
All right, y'all, back with meal number five. Got my two egg sandwiches made. It's about nine something, I don't know. We just put the kids to bed, that's why I'm back here in the back. Don't wanna wake the kids after they go to sleep. You gotta have that silence. Those are the best couple hours of the day. The time in between you going to sleep and you putting the kids to sleep, I swear. 10 pounds up, this is the most that I've ever weighed. This is the best that I've ever felt. It's the strongest I've ever been. But the last tip of the day that I wanna tell you guys is have a cheat day, man. If you're doing what I suggested you to do and keeping things simple, you're probably eating the same ones every day, just like I am. And that stuff can get old super quick. So today was my third time cheating. The other two times I had two boxes of pizza all to myself, there's a bomb too. So keep it simple, one gallon of water, 30 to 40 grams of fiber, you don't forget that tip. Accept that failure is gonna happen. Continue along the process for the very next day. And lastly, have a cheat day, man. These four tips, well, besides the one about water and fiber, was mainly geared around the mental status that you have while you're going through a diet. More specifically for anybody who's going through a diet, this stuff can be hard mentally. I think it's more so mental than anything else. Having the mental fortitude to be uh, prepared for your meals and going to the store all the time, eating all the time even when you're not hungry, and then eating the same thing over and over again. You don't have to do that. That's just my choice for convenience. But eating the same thing over and over again or eating the same couple of things over and over again. So these tips were geared more towards that for a specific reason. If you can conquer that part, then everything else will come. Here we are, man. Vlog number eight, week number seven. I'm up 10, 11 pounds, somewhere in that range. I'm geek, I'm excited. The game's gonna continue to come. I'm gonna continue to bring the videos, help you guys stay motivated, stay encouraged, and reach your goals. You know who it is, man. Jalan from Hard Gainer Fitness, helping you defeat yourself and crush that scale. I see y'all in next week's vlog, man, when I make some more gains. Peace.